right here. List report project I'll create. I already have a couple of projects because I'm. OK, so let me create a new project here. From from when you're using Bass with your company's account, then you need to connect it with your cloud connector. Yes, it's, it. yeah. So like in company, say now as of now, so I have already configured one destination on uh, so that cloud connector is already configured here in the in the sub account. So if I go to cloud connector, you will see like that instance is already running. OK, see. So I have connected this cloud connector. So this cloud connector, guys, what I will do, like I will help you to configure your BS if you want. OK, like uh, the cloud connector is already there in your uh, remote desktop. It, it's already okay. there. So you just need to link your cloud connector with your sub account if you have. So you can link that and after that we have to configure destination. So if you go to the destination in this uh, cockpit, I have created one. I have configured one destination. So that destination is this. So whatever the properties I have maintained, so these are applicable for that destination and through this credentials or through this authentication, I can easily access any O data service from that on premise system. OK, OK, so before that, like if you want to access any O data service in your BS, so two things are required. First of all, need to configure cloud connector. Connect your cloud connected with the sub account and after that you can configure destination. OK, uh, can you help on this? Uh, yes, yes, sure, sure. I, I will help you like. Because okay. the web ID, so, it's a web ID. It's mm -hmm. we are using the personalized uh, personal edition, so which is getting connected directly uh, with the on premise. Yes. Why, why it is getting connected? Because uh, they have maintained one file. Like in web ID within that configuration, they have maintained one destination file and that destination file is helping you to connect with your uh, SAP system. OK, but, but in BS, BAS, if you need yes. to do any the development, then it has to be cloud connector has to be there. Yes, cloud connector has to be there. And then once you uh, once the cloud connector is configured and it is connected to your sub account later on, you can just configure destination afterwards. Okay. But yes, that, that connection is a mandatory be, That connection will be used for both, like for the, uh, viewing any of the auditor services available on premise and also for deploying as well. Yes, yes, yes. So this uh, basically for deployment purpose, so uh, the responsible person is destination only. Like in okay. destination, we have to maintain few properties in in web ID usage. So this properties plays an important role. Uh, for consuming O data service as well as for deployment purpose. I think this these same values are maintained in that configuration file also. Yes, yes, same, same. So that's why we are able to deploy these apps from Web ID and as well as from BS. Because in BS, we need these properties. But only some like extra properties we have to include like HTML5, dynamic destination. Uh, SAP client is it's already old one, but I, one thing which I can see like HTML5 destination and HTML5 timeout. So this two properties are newly introduced and which are applicable for BS. OK, so like yes, now let's create a list report here. So I'm just clicking on list report object page. Click next. So from here, like I have to now I have to connect to the system. So let's OK, let me click on connect to system. So like few days back, it was no, not working. I don't know, like uh, we didn't made any changes in cloud connector and not even in SAP system, but we were not able to consume any O data service. It was throwing an error when we used to select any O data service. But uh, now after a couple of days, like after three to four days, uh, after three, four days, Again, it started working. I don't know why, because this is a trial version and SAP like they are continuously making some changes in that. So sometimes your BAS will work, sometimes not. And in, mostly you will face these issues in uh, trial only. 
See now, it it failed. App is not created, and it suddenly it, it got terminated. So such such issues you will face in uh, trial version of BS. So guys, it's already 10, 12. Hardly I will take a uh, five minutes. OK, just like sorry for delaying. It's, it's already too late. Let me quickly create a template here. So I think whenever like we uh, we run a bus, so we have to make sure that uh, all the dependencies or the, uh, the basic set, the basic libraries which are required. So it should be installed first. Once all the libraries are loaded, then only you can proceed with uh, the project development. So I will go with SAP Fury application, click next. OK, so we'll select list report next. Connect to system. Now we have to select the system. So the, the basically the system means it is a list of destination. So all this destination I have configured on a cockpit. So that destinations are appearing here. So you can select. So S4 on-premise one is the system which I have configured. OK, so now here uh, you can see like we have a drop down for service. So under this service, you can see like we have a, all the OData service will appear. SRV service and also CDS service. OK. So which service I have to consume? So that CDS name you can directly copy. Like this is the file which we have. ZTR underscore CDS. Once you specify, you'll get that list or that uh, service name. Select that service. After that, it will load and it will verify whether that service you can consume or not. OK, so once it says, so you can see the next option is available. So now you can click on next here. And after that, uh, the entity that you have created, it, it's already available. So what is that entity? It's a sales order set. You can select that entity and after that you can select. OK, you can click it as a none as of now navigation property and just say next. And then you can just provide a module name or application title and all everything. So let me provide a module name as. Uh, I guess list report Z list report. Couple of apps I already created here, but I'll, I'll just go with Z list underscore report score app. Okay, so I'm just creating this Z repo, uh, Z list report app. Provide a sales order namespace. You can give it as a list LIP. And after that, I'm just clicking on finish. OK, so now it will create the project. So this is our project now. So still it is getting generated. You can see like installing dependencies. OK, so just hold down here. So service that we have consumed, right? So that service will be available within this manifest. Uh, when you open this manifest, so within this manifest, you can you can see that service which we have consumed. OK. And for that, the CDS file is already there. OK, so yes, so can you see like Nathan, you are asking the one question like how we can disable that uh, the variant? Yes, yes. See, so we have this properties in in BS. Because that uh, web ID personal edition, it is a little bit old, but now in BS you will see all these properties properly. OK, so now let me run this project so you can click on preview application and you can go with any option like first or second. So like I am just going with the first option. 
So basically this app will be opened in, in like Fury kind of sandbox. You'll get the same look and feel like a Fury sandbox. OK, see app is loading now. Can you see now? OK, so it is totally different now as a look and wise. You can see like app is displaying totally different. So this is our app which we have created so far and parallelly we also have some options like setting and all. So let me click on go. OK, see. Uh, this is how our data is coming here. OK, so guys, I just wanted to show like the same CDS now, that you created. Which is now, the, the export Excel also is there. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Export is also there and it will be exported. So one second, I think it's, it's exporting now. So let me open this. See, the Excel file is exported and let me open that. See, is it there? So everything runs on the property and we have to use it. To... Yes, everything runs on property. Like, uh, I guess in this, uh, there would be one option of export. Filter setting use date range. OK, by default it would be enabled only like explicitly. If you want to disable, then you can disable that which is by adding a property. OK, so guys, any questions here like? 